Hi, this is Joel Persinger. I'm the Gun Guy. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really deeply appreciate the fact that you do. Look, people send me a lot of products to review, some of which you see on my channel, some of which you don't, because I only review the ones that really work well and the ones that I like and the ones I think you might like. Every once in a while, though, somebody will send me a product that I'm just over the moon about, and this is one of them. This is the Air Armor Tech Military Grade Rifle Case. Yeah, I know. It folds up really small, and you go, wait a minute, how are you going to get a rifle in that? This thing just actually unravels. I mean, you take it and take the bungee off and uh, unroll it. And there you go. Now you got your rifle case, and when you're done with it, what I love about it is I travel, and when I'm done with it, I can roll it up and put it in a corner, and I don't have this big, monstrous, hard case to have to fuss with. I've got this really cool rifle case. It just unrolls, and then when you're done, you just roll it back up again and stick the bungee back on. This thing has been such a joy to me. I, I got to tell you, I sometimes I've got, as you do, I'm sure, sometimes the rifles or shotguns I'm carrying in a case are worth a lot, and I don't necessarily have the money to replace them because I've acquired them over long periods of time. If I've got a couple of uh, AR-15s in here, I might have about four or five thousand dollars worth of equipment, uh, rifles and whatever, in the case. And what's funny, I, I got to confess to it. For decades now, I've never really thought about the fact that I've got three or four or five thousand dollars worth of something in a case I spent 25 bucks on. These cases obviously are much more expensive than that, but now I, every time I take a rifle, shotgun, any kind of a long arm anywhere, I take it in this case because this is a military grade rifle case that protects my long arm, shotguns, rifle, whatever, in a cushion of air. And what's interesting to me is even with the rifles in it, it's just light. I mean, it's incredibly light. I've picked up expensive hard cases and so on, they weigh a ton. This thing is very, very light. Even when you, you pull the straps out and throw it on your back and walk away with it, it's just like a great big pillow. Um, I take it to the range with me, I take it just about everywhere. And indeed, I'm gonna take it with me, I'm going on a trip to go take a five day uh, rifle course, or four day rifle course. And I gotta take two rifles with me, a bunch of gear, and my rifles are gonna go in this bag. And then I've hopefully got a hunting trip scheduled here pretty soon with a buddy of mine, and I'm gonna take my rifle in this bag. <laughs> so anytime I go to the range or anywhere else, if I'm taking a long arm, it goes in this bag. This is my rifle bag, and this is my favorite rifle bag. I'm very grateful to Air Armor Tech for sending it to me, but after having used it now for a couple of months, I gotta be honest with you, I'd gladly pay for it, because this thing, protects my, my long arms like no case I've ever had in my 55 years of shooting. In fact, I, I took it dove hunting with me, and when I got back, so many people asked me about it because they saw it in the dove hunting uh, clips that I actually explained all the gear that I had in it and why I used this bag. I brought a couple of hats. This one keeps the, uh, it's not camouflage, I wish it were, but uh, the doves don't seem to notice it, and it keeps the uh, sun off the back of my neck and off my face. It's goofy looking but it really helps, especially when it's hot. I mean, it's hot at home. I'm home now, uh, back in uh, San Diego County, but it's still 105 degrees or 103 degrees or something at my house. It was 100 and I think 14 or 115, something like that, out at the desert. And then I've got a boonie cap or boonie hat. I use this a lot, uh, but it doesn't cover, cover up my neck as well, so I didn't use it that day uh, hunting. Then, of course, my vest. And I've got, you know, a different one, but this one seems to work pretty well. And I've got some places to put the shells and the birds and that's, it's a cheapy vest, but it works really well. I generally take a machete in case I need to cut myself a place to sit if I'm in among trees or whatever. So I'll bring a machete, cheap, cheap Chinese machete. I just sharpen it up on the grinding wheel each time and it works well and I've used it for cutting duck blinds and other things. And then my Coast headlamp. Uh, this is the best headlamp I've ever had. Coast sent it to me and if you want a uh, review on it, I'll put the link in the description. I did review this, t this lamp at one point. And then this bag was sent to me by Air Armor Tech. And this is the best long gun bag I've ever owned. As you can see, it really protects the long guns. I've got my B80 here and my Mossberg 500 here. It looks like my Mossberg has a short barrel, but it doesn't. Part of the barrel is in this pocket. And then it's got pockets up here, like this one in here. I've got some netting. Well, actually, that's not. That's my shotgun. <laughs> that's my, uh, my shell holder, uh, which I think I got at Cabela's in the uh, in the bargain shack, uh, I don't know, eight, six, seven years ago or something, and I love the thing. It's a, 
nylon deal, but it really works well. And when it gets wet, it doesn't get destroyed like the leather ones do. So that works pretty good. So this holds two guns. Um, my my uh, Mossberg, even though I like to shoot the B-80, sometimes it doesn't want to cycle lighter load, so I'll take the Mossberg. And then I take the Mossberg too because it's a pump and it can shoot anything and it'll cycle anything. So if I get light loads or if my other gun just fails, I've got a second gun. I've hunted enough that I've had guns fail on me. And here I've got some camo netting. That doesn't seem like much, but I've got a bunch of it because when you're out in the heat like that or any place, I've got different colors of it. Uh, this is more desert type camo. I can create a little shady spot for myself and I just use those big, I don't have them here, but I use those big uh, black and silver metal clips that you get for holding binders together. You can get them at the office depot or something and I use those to clip them to things and then I have some shade. I didn't use them this time because there was no place for them but that's the netting I generally take with me for doves uh, or for any other kind of bird like that that I'm sitting in a station uh, where I know I'm going to get hot hot hot. And then this bag, I'm just going to lay the shotgun here and close it up. This bag is the coolest thing since the napkin if you ask me. It's got a pocket here it's got a pocket here. Let me spin it around so I can show you up here. And then over here is where you fill it up with air. Because it's from Air Armor Tech, as you can see. And it's got a place where you can fill it up with air by breathing into it. This valve goes up and down. Push it down, you can breathe in. Let go, it seals it up again. And then when you want to release the air, you let the air out here. And it's like this, it's cushioned. Now I let some of the air out of it, so it's not as cushioned as it was before. But it's so cushioned that once you fill it up with air, you can't feel the guns in there. It's like this. It's like having a gigantic pillow. Uh, the other nice thing about it is, if I hunt ducks, is this thing will float. Uh, I'm going to do a, re a more exhaustive review on it later on. What I loved about it when I was out there is I had to walk a little bit of a distance to get far from the truck. And then you just unzip this, pull out your straps, and it's a backpack. You pick up your guns and your gear and walk away with it. Now, it's, you'd think it, it's long and it's heavy, so it wouldn't be comfortable. But the truth is, it's surprisingly comfortable because it's like having a gigantic <laughs> pillow on your back. So I found it really comfortable carrying it. Anyway, I had a bunch of questions about it. That's the Air Armor Tech bag. Once you let the air out of it, uh, it just rolls up into a ball. And uh, you can see a picture of what it looks like when it's rolled up. There are a couple of things about this bag I haven't mentioned so far that you may find very interesting. I know I certainly did. Whenever I look at a product that it's a little pricey, you know, when you start looking at cases, uh, this one's not really pricey, but it's a little bit more expensive than it's. It's quite a bit more expensive than the standard little rifle case you're going to buy. But what you get is amazing for the for the amount of money you spend. But I also look to see are are these products well thought out? Do they really consider what somebody's going to do with this thing when they built it? I love the way that the various pockets are laid out because they fit just about every need I can come up with. I like the fact that the zipper is actually designed, you can see how it closes up, it's actually designed to keep water out of the thing. So, you know, if you're in up in the snow or you drop this thing in some water or whatever, it's pretty well sealed up and your stuff's not going to get wet. I found that really encouraging. And again, as I said, this is a military grade case, so the material it's made out of is extremely tough. I don't know what it's called. I looked on their website and I can't remember, but it's extremely tough. The, the air bladder is extremely tough. It's not likely to get punctured anytime soon. But even little convenient things, little things to make sure it works right. Like when you open this up to inflate it, you got three different ways you can do it. So you've got little ports here and one for a pump and different ways to do it if you want to. But if you're just going to blow into it, which is all I did because you know I'm not that old that I can't inflate something like this. It's not that hard. Then you have this little uh, collar. You push it down and now you can inflate it. When you let go of it, it closes that port. It opens it up when you push down. It closes it when you lift it up. Well, I was concerned that you know it might get pushed when it was in there, and so I, looking at the instructions, I found this little silver collar. Once you're done inflating the bag, you just screw that up a little bit, and it fits right up against that top port. Now it will not go down, and you don't lose your air pressure. <laughs> you know, it's a stupid little thing, you know what I mean? But sometimes these stupid little things are the ones that really, really matter because, again, the, the idea behind this case is to protect something that's worth an awful lot more than this case is. And the case has to ha maintain that air pressure in order to have that, I think it's got about a three or three and a half inch uh, air cushion all around the gun. And that's, that's incredible.
Um, the other thing I, I think I mentioned earlier is how light it is, even with the guns in it. I, you know, I picked it up. I handed it to a buddy of mine, a lifelong friend of mine. When I handed it to Chris, we were dove hunting. He picked it up and he went, "Wow, well, there's nothing in this thing. It's like picking up a great big pillow." Well, it had two shotguns in it, some ammunition in it, and a bunch of other gear, as you saw. And still, he picked it up like it was nothing because he was expecting all of that stuff to also have the weight of the heavy case. And this case weighs next to nothing. Anyway, this is one of my favorite products that was sent to me this year, and uh, I can't say enough good about it. Check out Air Armor Tech. The link for their website is in the description. And check out these bags. They make them in various sizes. I think this is the long arm bag, and they make one or a little shorter. And then I, I, they also sent me the, uh, the scope protector, which I'm going to be using in a couple of hiking, hiking trips and maybe a hunting trip or two if I can actually get a way to do it. And I'll do a review on that one here coming up soon. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please support the channel on Patreon. Don't forget to join the NRA. They need all the help that they can get. There are links in the description for both of those things. And uh, please, whatever you do, wherever you go, don't forget to do this most important thing, and that is be safe.